During the Trump administration, we heard a lot about so-called chain migration. This is the idea that once we let one immigrant into the country, he or she could choose to use our immigration law to bring a multitude of relatives into the country as well. The term chain migration itself was quite pejorative and used mostly as a scare tactic. The idea being that without changing our immigration laws, we could be overrun with a number of undesirables who would add nothing to American society. But as I will explain in a moment, this is nothing but propaganda to frighten the uneducated. Opportunities to assist family members to come and live in the United States are far more limited than opponents would like you to believe. In fact, with the legal limits placed on family immigration, it is far more often true that families will need to wait years before being reunited. Even then, which family members are even allowed to immigrate are far more limited than the far-right immigration opponents would like you to believe. In this video, it's my goal to go over the basics of U.S. family immigration law. How does it operate? Which family members can benefit? What are the reasonable expectations for reuniting family members? As you will see, once you understand how family immigration operates in the United States, you'll see how fears of chain migration are completely unfounded. My name is William Kovach and I am a trained immigration lawyer. I've often been disappointed in the way immigration issues are talked about in the media, although it's not always their fault. Immigration law can be a very complex subject touching upon constitutional issues as well as personal political points of view. My goal is to explain immigration law to you, concentrating on looking at judicial opinions and executive actions in order to explain how immigration law can have an impact on our community and on our country. I hope that you'll join me as we try to make sense of immigration law and how it may affect the average person. The opportunities to have family members immigrate to the United States are extremely limited. Who may immigrate based on family relations primarily depends on two factors. The first is who is filing the petition, and the second is the degree of relationship of the person who wants to come to the United States. There are two types of people who can file a petition for an alien relative. They are U.S. citizens and legal permanent residents. U.S. citizens have a greater number of relatives who are eligible to come and live in the United States. A U.S. citizen can petition for a foreign spouse, minor children, unmarried and married adult children, the citizen's parents, and the citizen's brothers and sisters. A permanent resident may only petition for a spouse, minor children, and unmarried adult children. U.S. citizens have another advantage over permanent residents. Some of their relatives will be classified as immediate relatives. Immediate relatives do not have a limit on how many can come to the United States every year. And so, immediate relatives of U.S. citizens do not have to wait for visas to become available. The law defines immediate relatives as spouses of U.S. citizens, minor children, and parents of the U.S. citizen if the citizen is over 21 years of age. All other relatives must go through a process called the preference system. The preference system places a limit on how many relatives can immigrate each year and from which countries of the world they can come from. The maximum number of people who can immigrate each year to the United States through the preference system is set at 480,000. And that number is divided up based on the degree of relationship and where the immigrant is coming from. So spouses and minor children of permanent residents tend to get their visas faster than, say, the unmarried adult children of a U.S. citizen. 
and unmarried adult children of U.S. citizens will get their visas years earlier than married children of U.S. citizens. The category that takes the longest are brothers and sisters of U.S. citizens. Depending on the area of the world where they are coming from, brothers and sisters of U.S. citizens can wait over 20 years before a visa is available. That's because U.S. law tries to distribute visas around the world evenly. So if there's a high demand to get a visa to live in the United States from a certain country, those people tend to wait longer. Generally speaking, people immigrating from Mexico, China, India, and the Philippines will have longer wait times for their visas. People from other areas of the world tend to have much shorter wait times. The United States publishes when visas become available in a monthly release called the Visa Bulletin. As of January of 2021, visas were just becoming available for brothers and sisters of U.S. citizens from Mexico who had their petitions filed in 1998. Meanwhile, married adult children of U.S. citizens from, say, Europe are just getting notice that their visas are available if they filed their petitions in 2014. As of January of 2021, visas for spouses and minor children of permanent residents are current. That means that there is no additional waiting time for these specific immigrants. This is across the board for all countries. That means that spouses and minor children of permanent residents currently do not have a wait for a visa to become available. But this changes from month to month depending on the number of people who claim those available visas. So as you can see, the number of foreign-born relatives who can come to the United States to live every year is very limited. You can't apply for cousins, aunts, uncles, nieces, or nephews, for example. For U.S. citizens, it's spouses, children, parents, and siblings. That's it. And for permanent residents, spouses and children. No one else. Even then, an adult child of a permanent resident can lose eligibility completely if they get married at any time before coming to the United States. Given the limited categories of those who can apply for visas and which relatives can receive them, you can see how cries of chain migration are simply unfounded. U.S. immigration law is much more restrictive and can have certain relatives waiting decades for their visas to finally become available. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. If there are any topics you would like me to address in the future, please let me know in the comments below. Now, I don't like talking about this, but I am currently disabled because of complications following cancer surgery. If you're feeling generous, I'll have a link to my PayPal account in the description below. Thank you.